Where in Florida do you live in, because I swear I've seen you before. Um, um, it, if you give me all your Funko Pops, then I'll tell you where I live. Hey, hey, hey deal, deal. What's up guys, Skitter Rampage here. So today we're going to be answering your questions. Let's check it out. All right, guys, so I asked you guys to ask me some questions or your most desirable questions or whatever you guys had to ask me. I asked on Instagram and I asked on YouTube. So we probably have like 30 or 40 questions to go through here. Um, a few pretty much. I mean, I guess that's a few kind of, I don't know, compared to other channels and things like that. But um, we have a lot of cool ones, um, a lot of interesting questions as well. So I'm super excited to um, do this for you guys. And if you guys want to see more of videos kind of like this, let me know down below in the comments. Okay, guys. So first up, we have Sebastian11790. Would let your fans post the pop collection or would you let your fans post their pop collection, I'm assuming? So I've done collection videos in the past um, of you guys' collection. I think I've done two now. So if you guys want to check those out, you guys can. Um, you guys actually have some really, really awesome collections. This one comes from Alpaca Max. So this is, will you give all your pops to charity? No, because does charity give all their pops to me? No, I, I would actually give away some pops to charity. Like I've actually last year for uh, a matter of fact, I wanted to give away some pops during Christmas, but I had no idea where to give them. So if you guys know where you can give pops or certain things where you can send in pops, like a charity or things like that, let me know down below in the comments. So this one comes from Aaron Lee, where to buy legit and rare Funko Pop site? Um, so I'm assuming you just mean like where you can buy rare and legit Funko Pops. Um, I mean, there's there's plenty of sites like you can do mystery boxes to try to get rare pops. There's, I mean, really your best bet is Facebook groups, eBay, Mercari, whatnot, um, Amazon, things like that. That's where you're gonna find those rare pops. There's not really any specific site that sometimes just sells them. I mean, there's like Spastic Collectibles, Chell's Collectibles sometimes does random drops, um, Smy World, great companies as well. So that's kind of to name a few for you. This one comes from Yoni Collects. So this is, do you have a favorite NFL team? Um, I actually do. I, I like the Green Bay Packers, uh, mainly just because my grandpa likes them. Um, I mean, I'm not the biggest football follower or anything like that. If I had to pick another team, it'd probably be the Patriots. That's kind Kind of like a team I go for in the Super Bowl and things like that. This one comes from JBJW101. What's your guess on the new leaked um, Six Pats Naruto? My guess is maybe a metallic slash um, dot dot dot. I'm pretty sure like metallic or glow or something like that. But um, so my guess is it's actually not Naruto. It's um, the actual Sage Six Pats himself. I can never pronounce his name. Hagamoro, something like that. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's him himself. Someone actually let me know in, in a, um, an Instagram comment. And then I was also just like looking at a bunch of comments and things like that. And they're like, oh, it makes more sense that it would be him versus another variant of Naruto Six Pats. So I think that's what it's going to be. So stay tuned on that. I'll give you guys more information when I have it. So this one comes from OakXZZ. Where's the number one place you go to for ordering pops? So I buy a lot of my pops on Mercari or eBay uh, mainly and Facebook groups. That's pretty much where I get most of my pops or I mean I don't really have a specific place where I pre-order like probably GameStop, Hot Topic, pretty much your generic stores really. I, I don't really have a specific place that I love to shop at. This one comes from Little My Thick 920. Are you gonna do a pop hunt for SDCC? So I actually decided not to do a pop hunt for SDCC just because there wasn't really enough footage to be able to grab just because everything was already sold out by the time SDCC day came. Uh, Target was pretty much sold out, Walmart was pretty much sold out, and everything released at different times. So everything was going out of stock at different times. So it was really hard to just show off anything. I attempted it, but I didn't have enough footage. So I didn't want to give you guys kind of like a boring video to watch pretty much. This one comes from conquest underscore figs. Do you like coconuts? I actually do not like coconuts. I like coconut flavored things sometimes, but I'm not a big fan of coconuts itself. This one comes from somd underscore soccer fan, I believe. Absolute favorite anime you've seen. I can't remember if you've said it in any videos, laughing, crying face. So absolute favorite anime I've seen. Um, I'm a big Dragon Ball Z fan, but I, I think one of my favorites or I could name two would be Code Geass and Guilty Crown. I actually love those animes so much. I wish they would make pops for them. That'd be awesome. I'd buy them in a heartbeat. Um, so yeah, those are some of my favorites. So this one comes from Wasatch Pop. He is actually pretty big in the Funko community as well. I'm sure you guys know and love him. He's a really great dude, really nice dude as well. Um, what would be your ultimate dream job? Um, so when I started YouTube, I started as for fun, but then I figured maybe I could turn it into a job and I'm almost at 11,000 subscribers now. Um, so maybe eventually I could turn into a job between YouTube and then all my Patreon supporters and things like that. That'd be really, really helpful. Um, and I would love to do this full time. It'd be awesome. 
awesome. It, even if Funko Pops died out, I'd try to switch up the content and do something else. But I do enjoy my actual job, which is marketing, um, event marketing. So I go out to big events and I help promote them. So um, I don't. I guess I really don't have an idea of what my dream job would be other than um, just kind of generic, like. I want to be a YouTuber. I wouldn't work this hard and do all these videos and things like that if I didn't want to be. So um, it'd probably be between my current job and YouTube. This one comes from Manu underscore Sama, and I'm sorry if I pronounce you guys' names wrong. Which was the f uh, first Funko Pop you ever had? So I actually had a Batman animated series pop. If you guys don't know the Batman animated series, um, it's a really, really good show if you haven't checked it out. I, mean, I recommend that you do, but that was my first pop, Batman himself. Um, and then I followed it with a Tony Stark from... Um, homecoming and Peter Parker himself. This one comes from T underscore K Hut 96. One non anime girl pop you would like to have. Um, one non anime girl pop I'd like to have. Um, that's tough because I pretty much have all the ones that I want for the most part. Um, there's a few in the Attack on Titan set, but I, I pretty much have everything non anime grail that I kind of want for the most part. Oh, well, I guess actually, um, Base Goku, uh, Hot Topic exclusive. That's a really cool one that I haven't grabbed yet for some reason. He's like 25 to 30 bucks. For some reason, I haven't grabbed him, but uh, maybe I'll just ask one of my family members for my birthday for him because it's pretty cheap. This one comes from her underscore John 67. Which anime Funko Pop line are you most likely to drop? Most likely to drop, if, you, if we're talking about currently, like what I currently have, it'd probably be Fairy Tale back here um, and maybe Hunter x Hunter. Like, I, I like the anime, but not enough probably to keep the pops forever, but I just wanted to review the set and that's pretty much why I watched the anime for the most part I wanted to review them because you know I'm, I have a big anime fan base and you guys wanted me to review the pop so but I still did enjoy the anime I do like the pops they are heavily detailed if you haven't checked out my review you can um, but another line I'd probably drop as well would be would probably be My Hero Academia before Dragon Ball Z or Naruto or Attack on Titan or Tokyo Ghoul. This one comes from CJ underscore Fester. Do you plan on making other content in the future? Um, example, gaming, vlogging, just talking. Um, so a lot of people have asked me this question a lot and it's just kind of like, I don't really know what else I do. Probably not gaming, just because I, I started my channel originally on gaming, but it never really went anywhere. Gaming's a really tough category to get into, especially to make it in, just because there's so many different gaming channels on YouTube. Um, and I actually happen to just, my channel happened to just explode with, you know, Funko Pop content, but um, vlogging, maybe, uh, and just talking, I could probably do just talking, maybe life experiences, things like that. I'm, I am going to be doing Patreon-only videos, so things like that would most likely be on Patreon versus what I do normally on, um, for normal content on the channel. This one comes from Theron97, I believe I said your name wrong, sorry if I butchered it. What is your favorite pop? So what is my favorite pop? Oof, there's so many, I have so many good pops. I don't know, I'm really in love with that new SSG, SS Goku, um, or SSG Goku, excuse me, um, from Dragon Ball Super. Love the Sword Art Online set. Um, I, there's so many, that's a really tough question. Like, I love the Tokyo Ghoul Pops, Perfect Cell's an awesome one. Um, I have so many different ones, so it's really, really hard. Um, Katsuki Bakugo was a really cool one this year as well. I love All, All Might Weekend, if you guys, I think you guys can kind of see that here, um, right here, but All Might Weekend's a really, really awesome one as well. Um, I'll just show them in the camera really fast. But yeah, All Might Weekend, really, really awesome one. Um, really enjoyed unboxing this pop. So if you guys haven't seen unboxing yet, it was, I believe it released last year, but it's a really awesome one. So that I, I guess I'd go with um, All Might Weekend there, even though I'm not a big fan of My Hero Academia anymore. This one comes from v 7 What Funko Pops are you most hyped about? Um, what am I most hyped about? I think I'd be most hyped about something. Like, I, th I think I'm most hyped about is the new Dragon Ball Z ones coming out just because there's a ton of different ones and I've talked about this in um, previous videos, things like that. So any anime video or something you see in a thumbnail with like um, upcoming pops or things like that, that's where I talked about those, but the Demon Slayer ones are really cool as well. Super hyped about those. Can't wait to show you guys those, but uh, yeah, it'd probably be some of the Dragon Ball Z ones or the new My Hero ones, even though, like I said before, I'm not the biggest My Hero fan. There's still some really, really cool pops. This one comes from Eve All. Do you feel all right about all this virus world changing stuff? Scared, happy, sad. Um, I'm assuming that means all right. Um... I just kind of learned to live with it because like the government hasn't exactly helped my family too much in it. So we're kind of just adapting to that and 
different styles of income and things like that. But uh, for the most part, I'm pretty happy um, staying safe and things like that. Like, I mean, I, I'm not sick, so that's, you know, a blessing in itself. None of my family members are sick currently or dealing with that. So anybody who is, I'm, I apologize. I hope you guys feel better. Hopefully everything gets all right. Uh, but yeah, for the most part, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm good. Um, I've just been chilling. I'm bored for the most part, but yeah, pretty good. This one comes from PewDiePie82. Why are you awake so early? I, I never sleep. <laughs> Guys, I have constant bags. The bags under my eyes are Prada, if you guys were wondering, but yeah, I, I really don't sleep that much. It, I think I have insomnia probably, I don't really know. So now we're moving on to the YouTube comments for my community tab. So this one comes from Tyler. Are you gonna start collecting different sets other than mostly anime pops? Yes, actually, um, recently in an unboxing video I did, um, two days ago, I think, from this video coming out, um, it's like, um, weird packaging video and whatever, but I got some really cool Marvel Pops in that video, and I want to collect Spider-Man. I'm actually focusing on the Spider-Man set now, so if anybody has a really, really good deal on some Spider-Man Pops, let me know, because that's a really, really big line, but I'm very, very picky about the Spider-Man suits I like, so, uh, hit me down below if you guys have some Spider-Man Pops for sale. This one comes from Robert Haddock. Hope you're well. Have you ever regretted buying or selling any of your collectibles? Please all stay safe and keep collecting. Thank you so much. Um, yes, I actually have regretted certain ones. So, um, um, nothing recently that I've sold any grails just because I, you know, it's like they were like, for example, um, Tenya and Ochako, Mass Ochako. I sold those. Many people probably don't know that, but I did sell those and they sold for a price I couldn't refuse, but I don't regret it. Um, but yeah, there's, there's different ones that I have re regretted over the years, like certain ones that gained value and I, you know, sold them for, you know, 10 bucks at the time that they were and they were, they're worth like 50, 60 bucks now. So it kind of sucks seeing they gained value, but it is what it is. This one comes from Juan Francisco. Where in Florida do you live in? Cause I swear I have seen you before. Um, um, it, if you give me all your Funko Pops, then I'll tell you where I live. Hey, 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 deal, deal? This one comes from Clarissa Minchaka, I think I said that right, I'm so sorry. Um, would you ever consider purchasing Funko soda figures if they release an anime line? And what is the most expensive anime pop you own? Currently, the most expensive anime pop I own, it was Masto Chaco, but currently is probably Red Eyes Frieza, um, and then Beerus, or Metallic Beerus following. But, um, would I ever consider Funko sodas? No, I, I, don't, I don't really know. I find them kind of dumb, personally. Um, it's just another, like, line that I don't really think that's gonna last with Funko. Um, Funko Pops being their big biggest line and then um, some vinyl. Vinyls kind of died out a little bit. I see they don't really make them too much anymore. Um, but yeah, maybe maybe if they made some anime ones, sure, if you guys want to see them. Um, I think they might have some coming soon. I'm not entirely sure, but I don't even, I don't really collect anything other than the pop figures just because that's what I like the most, but I'm, I'm not a big fan of like vinyls, minis, and things like that, but maybe. I, 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 I don't know. I'm in the middle, maybe. This one comes from Gooby and it says, what made you start collecting Funko Pops? So I actually always find this um, question really, really interesting. So, I mean, I've been asked it a lot, but um, I, there's nothing really that made me start collecting per se. Um, so when I first received my original pop, it was um, from an old, old friend um, and I just kind of threw it under a shelf. I didn't really know what it was and it was just kind of like, eh, okay, this is Batman. Like, Batman's cool, I'll keep it. It was like a birthday present and I was like, eh, you know, they're, they're, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. And then um, eventually I started my YouTube channel, started gaming, but then I did my first unboxing video on unboxing pops and, you know, people actually liked it a little bit even though it has like 80 views, but people enjoyed it and I was like, huh. I guess I could start a channel on these pop things and do reviews and unboxings and then it kind of turned into this and then it, mainly YouTube made me start collecting more and more just because it was required. Not necessarily required, but I love having this awesome background behind and then I just kind of got addicted to them over time. Like I just kept buying them more and more every time I found a character because I didn't know they made so many different characters and that's why I fell in love with Funko because they have a character for everybody and it really, really got me hooked and they, they got their teeth in me and it, I'm, I'm here now, 200 pops later. So this one comes from Daryl P and he asked, when did you decide you wanted to make YouTube videos? So I decided about three years ago, that's how long I've been doing this. Um, and I've always loved YouTube. I've always watched um, videos. Uh, my main inspirations were popular memos and he does a lot of Minecraft content, the Rad Brad and then PewDiePie himself actually, ironically, um, biggest YouTuber on there. But it was mainly the Rad Brad and popular memos. I love their channels. I love the gaming and things like that. I'm still an avid gamer, kind of like not avid avid, but I do play games, but I love the Rad Brad's channel and he was just a big inspiration that he was doing all these gaming videos and that's what made me want to start a gaming channel. And then it kind of just transitioned to pops eventually, but um, that is the 
the original reason why I started a YouTube channel was because of those two channels mainly. Um, and then in the beginning, my brother helped me out a lot. Um, he helped me do everything. He helped me. He teach me, or he taught me how to edit. He taught me how to record and different things. So many questions I had: how to make a thumbnail and how to upload videos and make a title description, everything. Like he helped me do everything, and I wouldn't be here where I was today without him. Pretty much, like he he helped me so much in the beginning. Obviously, I can do all this now easy in my sleep, but for the most part, I do owe my brother in the early days um like so much for everything that's been created he was one of my biggest fans on my channel too so i appreciate him and uh i love him to death for that this one comes from usmc um 0610 would you ever purchase a one thousand dollar funko pop mystery box no i would not because i'm not a sucker uh, i'm not saying people who buy mystery box are suckers it's just a joke but um i i wouldn't personally just because i don't really have money to just throw around like that like it, it's just that's a large amount of money for like a 50 50 shot at a grail it's just not something i would do i don't personally like mystery boxes anyways i say this all the time but i do buy them for the channel occasionally for you guys to watch um but yeah no i would not do that i think my limit would probably be like a hundred dollars this one comes from tubs max and he asks what is the funko pop you want the most but don't have so there are a ton actually i would want um that i don't have and a, mo a lot of in the marvel line um surprisingly so i would love to have all the original iron man like Iron Man pops. Um, I would love to have some of the OG Spider-Man pops like Peter Parker Unmasked. That's a really cool grail. Um, I would love to have, I really would love to have the original Avenger set again. I had it in the past, but I ended up selling it just because of the hype in the movie. Um, and it was, you know, it was just, like I said, it's one of those things where you can't refuse the price at the time. So I sold those, but there's a lot of cool Marvel ones that I would love to collect, but Marvel's such a big set that I have to take priority in a certain like category, like Spider-Man, for example. Um, so that is what I'm going to be collecting sooner or later i've gotten like two pops of all the or two pops of a ton that i've wanted so um uh, but yeah there's a ton of wolverine ones that i really want i would love to have the logan set um the glow in the dark wolverine ones but those are like any of those pops are anywhere from a hundred dollars to like six to eight hundred dollars so it, it's really really expensive but maybe over time i'll end up with them but a lot of them are some really cool marvel ones this one comes from jay trace and they say do you mind letting people know you collect Funko Pops or do you like to keep that to yourself or within close family or slash friends? When you first started, did you just plan on getting a few or were you planning on having a huge collection? So um, I don't really care if people know that I um, collect Pops. It doesn't really bother me at all just because like something I've built and I'm super proud of it and it you just, the, all these Pops have a backing of a big YouTube channel that I built and I work so hard on. So I, it doesn't really embarrass me. Um, sometimes I'm a little embarrassed if I, you know, go on a date or, you know, if I ever bring a, home, a girl home, which is very rarely have I brought any girls home. And that's not because I have this pop wall and I'm a nerd, all right? It's just because I'm very selective of who I date and things like that, for the record, before you guys make your little jokes. Um, but yeah, no, it doesn't really bother me too much. Everybody in my family pretty much knows I collect these or, has a, or that I have a YouTube channel. Um, and no, I did not expect it to get this big, like with a collection, I, I was not expecting this. Sometimes I look, I'm like, oh my God, too many, too many. I have this whole corner of Funko. So it's kind of crazy, but yeah, it definitely doesn't bother me. This one comes from Humberto Lamelli. I believe that's how you say that. Have you ever seriously considered to stop collecting pops? And if you have, would you sell your collection? Um, I would probably sell my collection. I would probably keep some, but yes, I actually have considered stop collecting pops for like plenty of times, so many times. Um, it gets to be overwhelming. It gets to be expensive. Like I've made a video actually recently um, where I said I'm going to stop buying um, so many pops or I'm like, I'm done collecting so many pops. And, uh, what that pretty much means in that title in itself is that I'm done collecting so many variants. I'm done buying pops that I don't necessarily need in the collection. Like I'll buy them to review, but I'll probably sell them after or, um, put them in a Patreon box for somebody who really, really wants it or things like that. But I'm not, I'm not really big on collecting variants unless I really, really like it. And I can't express that enough because a lot of people get mad at me when I buy new things, but it's like, I still need pops for the channel. I still need pops for content and things like that. That's what some people don't understand. And it's like, I'm buying pops that I genuinely like now versus just buying masses amounts just to do content on or um, things like that. So if that, that's hopefully that's a good explanation for you. This one comes from Stevie G. What anime world do you wish you could live in? Oof. 
Dragon Ball Z, especially if I could be a Saiyan, that'd be really, really awesome. Um, but yeah, I would love it. Maybe Naruto, if I could be a Shinobi, try to like battle Naruto, that'd be really dangerous because he's super strong. But yeah, um, probably Naruto or Dragon Ball Z for sure. This one comes from Pop Copper, and it says, what is your favorite current pop, and what is the pop you want the most but haven't been able to grab? So like I, I explained earlier, some Wolverine pops or some Iron Man pops or things like that, some of the um, more expensive Spideys, but um, favorite current pop? That's a good question. So it's not kind of like, it's not kind of like, what is your favorite pop? It's your favorite current pop. And um, favorite current pop, um, I really, really like my Attack on Titan set. Like, I love this. Um, I think this one's a really, really awesome one. Um, probably currently. Really, really like this one. Um, Aaron in his Titan form, and he's all beat up and uh, battle-worn. Um, really, really enjoy that one. I love that I had it. Um, and I, I really don't know if I'm going to end up keeping the Attack on Titan set. Like, I really enjoyed the anime, but maybe I'll hate Season 4. Maybe I'll sell them, or maybe they're going to go for crazy prices that I um, can't refuse. We'll see. But for now, um, I was happy to get the pops at a really really good deal for now um so yeah that's that's probably one of my favorites currently this one comes from scrooge mcduck himself what's up scrooge um what's your favorite disney movie and favorite disney pop so i don't really collect disney um and i don't really have a favorite disney pop per se but a favorite disney movie would have to be moana and i actually do have um, a maui pop in my closet somewhere but uh that'd probably be my favorite disney pop and favorite disney movie so there you go. So the last question we have today, guys, is from Kimberly G. And we have, if you were part of the MHA world, what would your quirk and hero name be? So this is actually a really good question. Um, if I was part of the MHA world, what would my quirk and hero name be? I think, so I, I think I answered this question a long time ago, but the skit, I would name myself the skit because that's just, I, that's just really cool to me, but it also sounds like a disease. I don't really know. Um, but um, I would name myself the skit and I'd be super fast. That, I, I would love super speed so much. That'd be amazing. I would take super speed over flight any day. Um, super speed is just amazing. So yeah, I think it'd be the skit and super speed. All right, guys. So that was all the questions for today. If you guys enjoyed this type of video, make sure you leave a like down below and let me know. Um, this was actually really fun to answer some of your questions. So I'd love to do another one in the future if you guys would like that. But anyways, I want to say a huge shout out to my Patreon subscribers. You guys are absolutely legendary and I appreciate the support so much. If you guys want to check out the Patreon, you can. A lot of cool things going on over there. I'm going to be updating it within the next month. Um, um, and um, I'm going to be talking about all that on my live stream. So stay tuned for that on July 30th, my birthday. Birthday stream is going to be really fun, giveaways and things like that. So stay tuned for that. Also, make sure to check out the Facebook group. A lot of cool things over there. It is buy, sell, and trade. I'd love to have you guys in there. Um, my Discord is awesome as well. You guys can make a ton of friends in there. Really, really awesome community. Also, make sure to check out my social medias, which include Instagram and Twitter. That's where I post most often, and I post new videos and things like that. So make sure to go follow me on those. Anyways, I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys later. Bye.